Hey, boo, hey, what's tea? What's poppin'? This is for all signs, okay? I'm always telling you guys to trust what you feel. Trust your intuition, what you felt the first time. So, I've decided, since you're awesome, since um, a lot of us are going through these major transformations, spiritual awakenings, renewals, let goes, um, realizations, I decided I'm still going to drop individual uh, November general videos, okay, for every sign. However, since I did receive some pretty decent reactions um, from my pick a card, but I did receive so much positive feedback, y'all. Thank you so much for the comments. They really help. Um, I decided we're going to do an exercise. And this exercise is your November generals. And this is for all signs, okay? This is going to be called, <laughs> What Shit Can I Expect and What Am I to Do for November? Okay? So what shit belongs to me? Feel free to pick more than one stack, okay? There's a total of six. This is a pick a card reading. And you are going to pick your spirit or love or finance reading. It just depends on what falls out. I don't even know, okay, what's underneath these cards. I just gathered them, and I allow spirit to use me as a channel. And so because of that, we finna rock, all right? So I'm going to allow you guys to see the cards and just tune in on the decks. Trust yourself. Listen to your higher self. Listen to your heart. For those of you who are clairaudient, for those of you who, um, who has a different sight, get in tune with your intuition at this moment um for those of you who are first time viewers to my channel hey boy i'm mocha also if this is your first time viewing my channel look out i may cuss a little may cuss a lot just depend on what the hell these cards say and i told y'all i don't know so we are all going to tune into our intuition and we're going to pick our general for everyone november reading take it how it goes this is not a personal it is general if it resonates, y'all, please give me the feedback. I need the feedback in the comment section in order to keep this going, okay? Also, give me some ideas as far as new content with the pick of cards because I do want to incorporate this. We are family, okay? And as family, we want to teach one. So this is about learning to trust yourselves for the new intuitives, for um, people who have spiritual abilities, who have just kind of lived in that place of doubt, and unsurety, this is you getting in tune with yourself, what you feel, and your abilities to see things differently your way, your unique ident individual way with tuning into your intuition. So let's rock. If you need a personal reading, that information will be found in the description. Today, the 19th, is the last day for the $10 10-minute 10 reading special. As long as you get your emails in before 12 a.m. tonight, then you can go ahead and still get your $10 one question, one answer, 10 minute reading. I do do, I send videos as well as do over the phone. Also, um, for those of you, my 30, 45 minute and 60 minute sessions are on sale. They're having a $15 off special. Okay. And that's going to be till November the 1st. Okay. But the $10 special ends today. So get it in. Love y'all. Let's get it. This will be for all signs. Okay. So getting in tune with the deck. <clears throat> Let me get my little wand over tonight. Obsidian. Okay. Getting in tune with the deck, let me give you the count off, okay? This is deck one. This is deck two. This is deck three. This is deck four. This is deck five. This is deck six. If you feel the need to pick more than one deck, please, by all, all means, do so, okay? Trust yourself. Because go against yourself. And I get to reading these decks, then you're going to be like, oh, I knew I should have picked Trust What You Felt the first time. That That is the whole purpose behind this exercise, allowing you all to be in tune, 100% in tune with your intuition, listening to your higher self, okay? Because some people be like, well, how do I do it? This is a little practice, all right? So this will be for your November generals, all right? But I am still going to do it individually. I'm going to let y'all get some time to tune into a deck. And uh, will somebody please be kind enough to timestamp when um, the actual decks are open or the deck times? Pretty, pretty please. I thank you in advance and I love you long time, family. Thank you. Let's get it. All right. So for those of you who picked deck one, this one, let's open it. 
All right, so your spirit message for deck one. Yeah. Self-love. Getting back centered and allowing, allowing and being receiving to the messages that spirit is trying to bring you, which for some of you, for the month of November, you're going to find that it, it it's pretty much revolving around love, but you're needing to come to terms. If you pick deck one, what's going on? You may be finding yourself meditating. You could be already in a meditative state, but this is going to carry over until the month of November. And it's a focus on your root chakra and your throat chakra. I feel that you need to speak up. Okay, speak the things that you intuitively already know. Stop playing poker playing poker with your feelings because you're the only one left hurting and feeling like what you're giving is not enough or it's not being received properly and it's causing a block in you a block within you with love okay so spirit is trying to bring you love okay but you have to find that wholeness with your within yourself and become centered okay i do see a lot of you guys will be very very meditative some of you all will be learning how to meditate during this time but there's a really a, a strong focus on your throat chakra and your root chakra some of you all need to hug a damn tree okay straight like that go 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 hugging trees much wisdom all right much light much understanding much it's a rootedness you understand the foundations we're healing foundations because when we tackle the foundations of our problems, the foundations of our issues, everything else will rebuild itself, baby, if the foundation is strong, even in love matters, okay? So we we, we are rebuilding foundations, deck one, okay? I strongly feel during this time, a lot of you guys, crown chakra will be expanding. If you're getting those random headaches, if you're like pressure headaches, um, spirit is wanting you to get outside. A lot of you all are going to receive a massive download possibly it will be uh going i feel like this is more so coming into Oct from october into november like after that full moon of um the 24th a lot of you guys spiritual abilities are going to really expand in a massive way and spirit is needing you to get grounded and be grounded during that time okay so that you can properly receive and see and you know see in order to make the next steps in your journey what it is that you need to do okay but it definitely, for most of you, uh, revolves around love. Yeah, some of you all are indecisive. Some of you guys will be very indecisive during this time. Some of you all, your indecision revolves around children. I feel like you've been putting everybody first, even your children, okay? And for some of you all, you feel like it's kind of blocking you from being happy because you really don't have the time to do what it is. You don't have the time to meditate. Or you, may like, you may feel like you don't have the time to truly, truly, truly focus on honing your abilities and you may just sweep them under the rug but spirit is kind of going to push you back and kind of force your back up against the wall and make you see but it's how you choose to look at that especially in love matters some of you all are very indecisive okay um as far as it pertains to love some of you guys could have to choose between um you have two choices for damn show for some of you all it's an earth sign okay capricorn towards virgo or a water sign and i feel like this earth sign moves very 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 slow i feel like you keeping your feelings to your chest you just want to stay balanced and just look look mocha i just i just uh, uh, this is just trying to be stable i'm trying to be mentally stable okay the fuck but i see that a lot of you all are you're in love with somebody but your focus have been money and you know trying to Make it possible for you to ensure that you can financially be there for somebody, but spirit is trying to give you love and you're not seeing it because you're focusing more on, for some of you all, an expectation of how you think things should be going and what you feel like you should be receiving from a person, but you're not really fully seeing how that person is really giving you the opportunity to grow and how much love there is there. It's like your focus is elsewhere but during this time you're ending one cycle and going into another one for some of you all you have two people to choose from someone from your past who you could have walked away from who is stalking okay or someone okay who is new they move very 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 slow i feel like there's one person and you're in love with another person and the person from your past you expect this ten of pentacles from this person but i feel like you lose you in order to get it. So you really needed to be grounded and find that love within yourself to make the proper decision as far as love matters. You know, to choose what it is that you truly need. Because sometimes what we need or what we want is not always what we need. And Spirit is trying to 
allow you to see things from a different perspective during this time. One second, y'all. We're okay. I'm good. I'm good, ma'am. I say I'm good, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right. All right, y'all. Sorry about that. Had a little moment. Y'all family, y'all understand? Shit happens. And I was not going to start over. I'm sorry. So somebody, if y'all want to timestamp the distraction, go right ahead. But if you chose deck one, then that's your deck one. Okay? Deck two. Let's get it. Deck two. Let's get it. Okay, so for those of us who chose deck two, let's go ahead and crank it. Take two. A lot of you are finding balance during this time. Some of you all are starting to see. When I say your shadow side, I'm not trying to offend nobody, but fuck it, we family. We can't say if I can't if I love you, I'm gonna tell you the truth, right? Some of you all are starting to you're you're starting to see the light and you're having to acknowledge your shadow self. So a lot of things, you know, that are in, in, in the midst of you trying to find your balance, a lot of you all may begin to come to terms with them. And I'm manipulative as fuck. I just manipulate the shit out that man to get my way. A lot of you all, and it's not about you beating yourself up. It's just about you guys finding balance because I feel like this is for also affecting your relationships and also affecting pretty much, baby, we are what we attract. Okay, so I feel like some of you all are wondering, why the hell do I keep finding, dealing with people who I find myself losing myself in to the point where I got to keep, you know what I'm saying, literally picking myself up off the ground and finding my self-worth and finding my beauty in myself again. But for some of you all, you're really needing to see your self-worth. Some of you all, to be honest, you feel like you need somebody to, to push through and Spirit is going to show you during this time. Possibly through a separation or you kind of being forced to move away from somebody that you don't need. Not eat motherfucker, but God in yourself. And you're never alone. You have your ancestors. A lot of you all in deck two. A lot of y'all are crazy, crazy covered by ancestors during this time. Some of you all could be dealing with the twin flame during this time. And I feel like you're needing to make a balanced and stable decision as far as which road you want to travel. Deck two, you got two ways you can go. You can deal with, you can keep allowing past situations, people, places, things to keep coming in and affecting the way that you run your shit. That's emotionally, mentally, spiritually. You understand? But some of you all are going to find balance and balance within the self. Okay? To not over project my shadow side or for that matter not much just finding that balance within self in order for you to move forward on your journey because you got to understand don't beat yourself up for your shadow side baby you had to first embrace acknowledge and really be in tune with the darkness in order for you to make a free will choice to want to move towards the light you understand it's about finding the balance in between that it's about that balance in between and a lot of you all are needing to get out in nature more be receiving some some of you are going to be receiving some downloads while you're in nature and it's just some assistance from spirit in order for you to have the information that you need like oh that's how I move forward and for some of you all it could include with someone having to move away from you or you having to move away from somebody in order to move forward because this woman and her beauty and the beauty in which she's seeing not during this time your third eye will be pouring out information to you. Okay, but it's going to come in a moment of solitude. You alone. You're never alone. You may have the vibration of feeling lonely, but it's only you wouldn't even feel that if you actually found the beauty in things and allowed gratefulness to take over because gratefulness is one of the most powerful manifestations. Some of you all will be using or be will be learning about 
mirror magic for some of you all you can't you came from like a religious background so you're getting you're learning how to use mirror magic in order to manifest and you're actually seeing the newness that it's bringing you in your world and so it's taking your mind and allowing you to find that balance in yourself but you're really needing to do some more research okay so that you can get a better understanding so that you can stop beating yourself up thinking that you evil or some shit because you have spiritual abilities or because you have mastered and conquered the law of attraction it's how you look at it all right deck two hmm spirit is trying to bring newness in your life deck two a lot of you all, you may be seeing 444 a lot because spirit is allowing you to know that things are, st stability is coming, baby. Some of you all could have recently experienced a tower moment or could possibly be looking to hear from somebody who actually caused you a tower moment and have you actually rebuild. And this person walked away with your power with their sneaky ass. And here they ass come and they're going to want to move new. Okay, they want to. They're gonna want to move new because they see this happiness that you're creating for yourself. Whomever you're dealing with, they are a soulmate to you. And for some of you all, you're actually moving. You some of you all are actually going to forgive, okay, and just really communicate your feelings toward this person. This person may actually come in. They may come in very like playful, like okay, even though their intentions is. They see you as the empress. For some of you all, this could be someone who you have a child with. But I feel like you're just trying to find the balance in things, possibly after a separation, okay? Or you will be in the month of November. For some of you all, this could definitely involve um, Virgo, um, Pisces, um, Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Fire. A little bit of air is here. I feel like if you're dealing with a Gemini, I feel like you're trying to find stability with this person because you know that this person is your soulmate. But in order to have newness, this vibration of the sneaky shit going to have to be checked. And you're going to have to come to terms with yourself and trust what it is that spirit is showing you while you're in that period of solitude. In order for you to make a free will choice on which way you want to travel. You can go to a period of newness because some of y'all, you have an air sign or earth sign in your energy deck too. Who wants to hold on to you? This person wants to keep offering you this newness. It's like this damn hamster wheel. Somebody keeps going over and over and over and over and over and over, and over in the damn wheel. And you want to jump out the fucking wheel because ultimately you want this sun. You want this two of cups. But you also don't want to face the reality that you're going to have to let somebody go with understanding that you're not going to lose your shit. Don't allow yourself to, to, to lose your balance. Because people going to only do what you allow them to do. And for some of y'all, somebody is emotionally manipulating you to hold on to you because you have children involved. And every fucking time you have a towel moment with this person, but spirit is needing you to see how far you've come, what you have learned. To make a free will choice to come into the light, Caroline. Come into the light, Caroline. Come into the light. Spirit trying to bring you into the light, baby. Because this, this sun, this newness, this two of cups, this could be yours. But you got to stop sitting on your fucking feelings and speak your truths. What will I accept? What will I allow? This could have to do with the Libra. You could also be these signs, Libra, Virgo, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Pisces, Taurus, Aries. Everybody's here as far as the energy. But what are you going to accept? about someone or something and are you going to continue allowing a particular vibration from something or someone when you know you're the motherfucking empress for what though think about it all right so that's what i have for deck two if you pick deck two that's your message Y'all got decisions, decisions. Y'all got to weigh it out, making justified decisions. What's fair for everybody, but still putting myself first and seeing what I want. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. <clears throat> okay. 
So for those of us who pick deck three, we rocking. Let's go. Ooh, I just keep, yeah, I got OCD. I just keep messing up these decks. It's bothering me. <laughs> All right, deck three. Hmm. Day three, a lot of you guys are learning something new. Some of you guys could be learning something new about your father or a father figure, okay? And it's crazy because it's going to put you in a very expansive place. It could also make you be very reflective. I feel like coming out of the month of October into November, you're going to be very reflective looking over things in the past. Looking over opportunities that you that you feel like you could have possibly missed as far as expansion. Some of you all are going to be learning about <laughs> what your purpose is, so contracts, information. Um, some of you all are learning about mystical things like magic, spells. Some of you all may be uh, researching to go to school, but some of you all could possibly be finding, um, some of you all could possibly, who, especially of those of you who grew up with like some sort of abandonment issue, some of you all could definitely be reconciling with your father. With your birth father during this time, maybe this person's been trying to reach out to you, but you're looking over the past at how this person wasn't there and what you missed out on. But spirit is needing you to look forward towards the future to move forward, baby. You can't get shit from your past, but some understanding and wisdom. And this is, looks like this is what's going on. Some of you all are um, possibly be learning tarot. Some of you all, oh, baby, you woke. You stay woke. Some of you all are in solitude outside in nature, okay? And I feel like information, like esoteric information comes to you from like this little sacred space that you've built where you actually keep like spell books or some type of, um, some of you guys got, it ain't, I, I'm, I'm even seeing a shed for some reason. Someone is using, they're, they're like they're learning mystical things and they're, um, Maybe healing people, even learning how to heal people um, through magic in their um, in their basements or their their sheds or I'm seeing nature like outside in the woods. Okay, I'm gonna get up out of that. I don't like that shit. I mean, it's cool or whatever, but some 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 of you all are not learning this for good intentions. Some are. Um, some of you all are learning that. Your heritage, you come from like a long line of like white witches or what do you call a man witch? It's more so of a man witch. Warlocks or something like that. What do you call them? It's warlocks. Witches and warlocks. But some of you all may be finding out. Some of you all may have been having acceptance issues or you grew up feeling like alone. Maybe your father wasn't there and this person is trying to reach out to you now and give you some information on family secrets. Some of y'all going to possibly be mad at your mama during this month when, you, when this happens because you could have had a different foundational understanding of what happened with your father. Some of y'all fathers is trying to get in contact with you to reveal the truth and y'all in y'all feelings. No, I don't want to talk to your ass. But some of you all, something brand new, something that something creative. Something that brings you that coin comes from this new opportunity. Something materialistic. Maybe your father could be teaching you how to, if you've been practicing law of attraction or you've been honing your spiritual abilities and you've been wanting to share them with the world. Some of you are in fear or, you know, and it's like, what will everybody think? You know, what will everybody, what will everybody say about me? Uh -huh. Some of you all want to be. You're possibly in the spotlight, but you kind of find yourself kind of not wanting to get out of bed during this time. Just kind of want to reflect and reflect and live in the past. Spirit said, get your ass up and go get that money. Get your ass up and go fulfill your life purpose. Get your ass up and go help people. Because for some of you all, you a healer. For some of you all, you come from a long line of some type of like native roots, some type of like, um, for some of you all, it's like, I literally see, uh, not really, when I say witchcraft, some people will think it's bad. Some some witchcraft is fucking bad, but this is, I'm not feeling uh energy of too much negativity around it. But I feel like there's an energy of, I'm passionate about this, but what, what will everybody, what will everybody think? Some of you all, you have a new beginning, something trying to come into fruition. For some of you all, you're going to have, you're going to find out that you have a new job opportunity. Okay, but you're going to have a 
hard time getting out your damn head about staying possibly where you've been working at. For some of you, all your intuition is on up for flick. Okay. And I feel like spirit is really allowing you to recreate, start over. You have every resource that you need. And now you got that peace. Now that you're having that conversation and you're getting that knowledge and you're getting that confidence to understand, bitch, I ain't crazy. I was born great. I came from a lineage of greatness, but also fear. And I got to be the one to break that cycle and shake that. For some of you all, you intuitively know. You could have had someone who in the past, you wanted a new beginning to get off the ground. You could have walked away from someone to go recreate your life and start learning yourself. You know, learning new things and actually becoming a creator, okay? But you've kind of been in your head in a reflective period. And I feel like this, again, is coming from, stemming from October going into November, okay? I feel like a lot of you guys are having dreams, okay? you. I feel like you have... Someone who's wanting to come in and actually give you what it was that you wanted. This could be the father of your children, okay? But I feel like you have someone else that you're very passionate about. This could be someone who's also very intuitive. You could be very intuitive. You could be um, an Aries, Leo Sag. You could also be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You could be Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. You could also be a Virgo. Could be a Capricorn. This could involve any of those signs. But I strongly feel that you wanting to come out, you're going to clear that vibration of being in that web of thoughts. I feel like all of these, I got all of these great ideas, but I'm holding them in because I shit is just entangled and I can't get out my damn head and on my damn feet. It's time to get your ass on your feet. What is you waiting on? If you just simply allow God to do God's job and take that leap of faith, baby, you can have whatever you like, okay? Right? So I feel like, yeah, some of you all, you're obsessive. Some of y'all, y'all intuition is dumb. You didn't dreamt about somebody coming back. You and this person could also have a telepathic connection. They will be coming back, if, if not the end of October, into the month of November. I feel like this could also be before the second week, okay, of November or the seventh day of November. But I feel like you and this person could have had, like, a codependent-ass, toxic-ass past. I feel like in the past, you or this person could have been very indecisive. This could also involve a Cancer, a Leo, Capricorn. But I feel like this person is definitely a soulmate. You guys have a soul tie, okay? This could also be a past life partner, a past life relationship. It definitely have to do with a soul contract for some of you all. But this is, for some of you all, the scissors to cut around as well to get to this Ace of Pentacles. Because you've been carrying the burden for quite some time. It has become obsessive or heavy on you, baby. You're not stuck to, not e motherfucker. Some of you all are waiting on somebody's return and they coming. And they coming and they offering what it is that you want. Spirit is needing you to be forgiving. That's why that energy even with the father came up. Because some of y'all have issues and they're rooted from having issues with your father. You needed to be forgiving. Forgive that person. Forgive yourself. And forgive the situation. But learn from it and let it go. Because Spirit trying to ascend you and allow you to grow. Some of y'all finna have to have these conversations because you think divinely got it to take out take that leap of faith and go baby it's time to let me take i could put you on the mile high club what's up let's take a trip okay catch flights not feelings all right so that's what i have for deck number three new shit only where you been at how far have you come what you learned Forgive them. I ain't say forget shit. Just said forgive them. It's heavy. Put it down. All right. So people who pick deck four. Deck four. Come on down. <laughs> All right. See what you got to say to deck four, people. <clears throat> so if you pick deck four. Some of you all are waiting for something to come in, okay? 
um, I feel like it could also have to do with like financial gain. Some of you all are waiting on um, something practical to come in so that you can move forward and working on something else. Some of you all are waiting on stability. You need to strengthen your faith around stability and you having. Some of you all are also needing to get outside more and work on your health. Some of you all actually could have actually be business owners trying to start something new. And I feel like you have that lack mindset. The spirit is trying to give you that clarity through synchronicities, but your ass don't get outside too much. All them frogs around you, baby, during the month of November, them frogs signify abundance, baby. That's them frogs that what, what you have planted your seeds towards have not, your seeds have not gone in vain. You are going to reap the rewards, okay? You want to reap the rewards, but you're needing to have more faith. And understand that you are spiritually protected. You are being spiritually guided during this time. Some of you all could be trying to possibly um, work on a relationship with your father during this time or with your kids if you are a father. Especially if you have a, a youthful, I would say a teenage or um, preteen going into teenage or a young adult son who could possibly be a Pisces or a Capricorn towards Virgo. Or maybe you're that person, man or woman. I feel like stability is coming. A lot of you guys are possibly seeing 444 because spirit is reassuring you that things are going to be okay. You're needing to have more faith. Your faith is being tested here. The way that you look at things are trying to shift, but you just won't move with it. Some of you, you could be a fixed sign who this is for. This could be for Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. I feel like you needing you wanting to go and make a grounded offer. Maybe you're possibly awaiting a grounded offer from someone, a shift to move forward in a practical way. But some of you all are kind of in your head, beating yourself up about it. You know, well, I don't know if that shit gonna happen. Well, I don't know. I don't. If you're gonna pray, don't worry. And if you're gonna worry, what you, what, if you're gonna worry, why are you praying? Because you you confusing God and the universe. They don't know what the hell to send your ass. Get out your head. Get out in nature more. Work on yourself. Some of you all could possibly be receiving information or be waiting on information possibly regarding um, like some type of test result regarding your health. Spirit wants you to know you're going to be okay, but you're needing to put the work in to take take better, take better, more care of yourself. And being in your damn head and stressing about shit is not going to add to bettering the situation. Yet it's going to add to stressing you the fuck out even more. Okay? Some of you all are having faith possibly regarding a family situation that involves a Leo. I feel like there was some massive change that could have come due to somebody having some form of like rejection issues. Maybe someone was ungrateful in the past or someone felt like the grass was green on the other side. But they're wanting to, they're, they're wanting to come back to you. Or maybe intuitively you've been feeling this person coming back to you to fix it. Especially if this is the father or mother of your child. Spirit is wanting you to have faith. You could also be married to this person, but this person is like, you guys, this person wants to separate, but they don't want a divorce. Because deep down internally, they also want to return and fix it. But to be honest with you, this person has acceptance issues. And maybe you also have some form of rejection or acceptance issue that spirit is trying to cut the cords. The cord was cut. For things to be balanced out evenly. However, the codependent attachment in the past is why this had to shift so that you can learn to be strong, singularly, and courageous, and find that love and that balance within the mind to understand that you're never alone. And understand that you have the strength of a lion, baby. Some of y'all just definitely involve family situations. In order to get your ten of cups, you got to first deal with this five. Move away from the past and what happened and what once was and how come you, how you oh, 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 well, how come I wasn't enough? How come that wasn't? How come this, 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 this? Stop it. Stop it. Because you know yourself crazy and now alone. But this person also needed to heal from 
the vibration of allowing someone else to beat and tear them down and program something in their mind because it surfaced something in the both of you that internally need internally needed to be worked out in order for you guys to love each other in a healthy way. So have faith, especially if this involves the husband and the wife situation, a child's mother, father. This person could definitely be a Leo, okay, or you could be a Leo. But I feel like intuitively you know someone's coming in. I feel like they're not fully ready or you're not fully ready. Some of you all could also find out that someone has the intentions of only being in and out of your life. I feel like spirit is kind of calling you to ground yourself and work on yourself before this person comes back so that you can see the substance within yourself. Because for some of y'all, this person ain't changed. But you grew and you're vibrating. You're vibrating higher. You get what I'm saying? It ain't y'all ain't the same. On some you can't sit with us type shit, but you gotta see that within yourself to set the boundary to not allow this person who you intuitively know is coming back. You and this person can have a, a telepathic connection as well. The person could be very intuitive or you you know someone's coming back, but they ain't coming to stay, baby. They coming in and out. If they if they did it in the past, they ask come again. It's up to you to cut that cycle short. And then by you being strong enough to do that, do you invite in your Ten of Cups? Your happiness, your balance, your stability, your fulfillment, your abundance. Okay? It's on you what you're going to do. But you're needing to get out in nature and ground yourself a little bit more than what you're doing. I have to get that in a second. It's so crazy because you hit a dog and sudden the train want to come. feel like spirit has been trying to tell you somebody actually may have to catch a train to you. Or you actually may see someone on the train during November. It may fuck you up. Like, whoa, what you doing? Oh, okay. Some things are just faded that way. Okay. So for those of us who picked deck five, let's get it. November generals. For all signs. Okay, deck five. Some of you all are really needing to communicate what it is that you want. And to be honest with you, you need to take them damn rose-colored glasses off, okay? And really, really ground yourself and really see the things that are around you already. For some of you all who picked Deck 5, October 10th was a hell of a day for you. Possibly a day of purging. Some of you all are ending a cycle. You had to end one cycle in order to start another one, but it's it's a new cycle. And I feel like some of you all, you could also be desiring to move towards some type of like communication. Some of you all are definitely nature. Some of you all are going to receive a hell of a download in the month of November, day five. I feel like it's going to allow you to see a situation, person, place, thing that you could have been dealing with differently. I feel like you're going to be communicating with someone what it is that you truly want and expect. And this is somebody who really haven't been talking too much. They just been, you know, kind of not, I ain't going to say necessarily walking on eggshells, but holding on to the things that they desire. But I feel like <clears throat> not so much as standing fully in their truths, but what it is that their heart wants. Your heart is trying to speak to you, baby. Some of y'all are really needing to be grateful because I feel like you you see only material things around you or around someone in your relationship. However, you're really not feeling as if you could truly, truly, truly be your whole self. Some of you are ending cycles at the way that you view things and are, and starting to actually see your abundance around you. Some of you all are really, really, really needing to be grateful, especially those who are financially abundant, because I feel like for some of you, you know how they say money came by happiness? You really needing to communicate and be real with yourself first, what it is that you truly desire. I feel like for some of you, you put so much focus in material things and now you're realizing, oh shit, I'm, I'm by myself. I'm abundant, but I desire love. I desire
affection. I desire to know that I'm spiritually protected because only thing I see around me is people who possibly take from me, people who need something from me. For those of you who, you need to speak up for yourself and speak your truth about the things that you are passionate about, that you want to do, that you wish to do. But some of you all, you really need to connect with your inner child. You're really going to possibly be connecting with your inner child. It's in the grist. It's literally in the, literally in the grasp of your hand during this time, and it's going to bring you abundance. However, you're not speaking that truth because maybe, maybe you have some type of mother figure around that may look at it differently, and so you feel as if you're like sitting on your desires and watching time pass you by. And to be honest, you are. You are. What you waiting on? Because for some of you all. It's your wish you always dreamed about this. You could be an Aquarian. You could be a Capricorn. You could be a Pisces. You could be a Libra. <laughs> but what you are being right now is a person who's sitting in a lack energy. What I can't do. I can't do this. I know. I know the energy spirit is trying to show me that I can have every, you can have whatever you like, but I want to stay stuck on and only see what I can't do and what I don't have in order to get to what I feel like I can't do. Spirit is raining abundance all over you. If only you can see it, baby. Some of you all, you're going to get your wish after possibly having to leave someone out due to judgment. Some of you guys are going to have to make a judgment and say, fuck people. Fuck places, fuck things. If I gotta leave them behind, I will, but I'm gonna spread my wings and soar, baby, because I'm rising. I'm rising. And this is why all these motherfuckers got something to say, but understand, people gonna have something to say whether you're doing good or bad. It's just people shit. For some of you all, you're making a judgment about a marriage, a relationship, some type of partnership. You're finally seeing, you know what, I can go out here and get whatever it is that I want. If I can only see that I'm abundant by my damn self. And I'm going to be abundant by myself as long as I stay grounded. You hear that? Who dealing with a Taurus? Aquarius. You need to hear this. This could be for another fixed sign. You could be a Capricorn. You could be an Aries. You could definitely be an Aquarian, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. But you're needing to ground yourself. And you're needing to receive that download that you're going to get in nature because it's going to show you how to do it. You, you have lack because you think lack. When you think lack, you believe lack. You manifest lack because that's the intention that you set forth to manifest was lack. You are what you attract. Okay? Get out your head. you just fine. God made you perfect. Some of y'all going to have to cut some people off. In order to get to this point. You see how this person. How this person with this damn sword. Is looking at this motherfucker with that. My focus is my coin. So if I got to cut your ass on the way. I'm going to get there. Because I have. I'm releasing myself from this lack mindset. Because what I want is coming towards me. And doors are going to be opening up for me to get to it. But it's up to me. For me to see it. To see how others. <clears throat> others and their perception of things have allowed me to live in this space of feeling like I lost something. Free yourself and go get it back. Go get it back. If this is a person, go get it back. Or if it comes to you, for some of you it's coming to you to speak a truth in order for things to materialize in the forefront if this is love. Some of y'all going to have to move away from people. And be ready to let motherfuckers know what time it is any given Sunday if they think that they're going to be dream killers because God got something special for you, not for them. Let them marinate their file. Whether this is a marriage, this is your desires, your dreams, your goals. Your life purpose. Kill that lack mindset. I just, I dare you to have a little bit of faith. 
and watch how far you soar, my baby. See the abundance around you. Gratefulness brings in greatness. Right? So that's my deck five. Last but not least, deck six. The November generals. Let's see it. Abundance, baby. I like the way that started off. Abundance. Spirit is raining in abundance, deck six. Come on now. Huh. Creations, new beginnings in love. Heart chakra is the focus. Open it up. Be receiving. Come on now, somebody. Some of y'all, you actually receiving abundance in all forms. And finances, in health, in love matters, as well as the new beginnings of pregnancies and babies. Congratulations, smoke a little kids. Some of y'all are going to see um, a shift in abundance, expansion. Some of you all, you could definitely be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You can definitely be... Um, Libra, Gemini, Pisces. I see um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But whomever this is for, I see a sense of abundance, newness. You may see a lot of butterflies during this time. Your third eye is booming. Trust your instincts. Your instincts are crazy, like damn near animalistic because everything that's coming to you, you already know it's coming and you're opening your heart. You're receiving it with open arms. For some of you all, it has to do with the twin flame union. For some of you all, I feel like <laughs> because you have centered yourself and you have trusted the process for things to align, the spirit is opening up doors for you. And you have to possibly let some things go in order for new things to come in. That's totally fine you got to sacrifice that but i do see an abundance in love and abundance in passion you could be someone who owned your own business or a new business owner maybe things were slow but spirit was aligning things for you spirit was lining things up and maybe you couldn't see it but it's bringing you a different a new a new refined sense of harmony you're finding the harmony from within in order to create these things okay for some of you all congratulations baby this is some beautiful energy here shit yeah Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, baby. Again, mother of ones, father of ones. Some of you all are reuniting with the mother or father of your children after some type of um, truth and clarity is revealed, okay? I feel like you and this other person do want to take this leap of faith, okay? Because I do feel like for some of you all, this definitely involves a past life soulmate or someone who you dealt with in the past, okay? Um... <clears throat> yeah, I feel like for some of you all, you have a decision to make. Do you want to possibly move forward with a lover? Okay, because you have two decisions. You have two ways to go. Either way is going to bring your life balance, but you have to choose between possibly a fire sign and a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, but I feel like you're ending one cycle of turns. Okay, possibly with the mother or father of your child who is truly a okay and it's again a strong thank you spirit you speaking highly some of you all both of them are a king okay but some of you all this is one person within you could be dealing with a water sign with fire in their chart or you could be dealing with a fire sign with water in their chart and you you're, you're afraid to make this move you're afraid but spirit is moving you to a place of abundance in the month of november i feel like this is energy that you will see starting on the 24th of october after that new moon because all these the the the, the sixes what i noticed about the six here and the six there and the six here harmony some of you all may be seeing three 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 some of you all may be seeing two 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 spirit is allowing you to let you know because of you balancing yourself and putting in that work okay that 444 is about stability is on the way this abundance to bring that harmony baby 42 42 play them numbers somebody um <clears throat> i am seeing yeah you spirit is wanting you to take a leap of faith towards bringing harmony back okay towards the goal of receiving some truth and clarity okay in order for you to move forward victoriously in love as well as with your passion but you have to be real with yourself okay what is it that i truly want because either way i'm gonna get it it's mine so, I'm working. so spirit is opening doors and allowing me to have it because it's mine it belongs to me my happiness my abundance because i took the necessary steps to align myself and trust the process and know that i had to go through this dark period to find the love and the light within myself that I share with others. Some of you, you definitely could possibly be spreading abundance to other people or bringing abundance to other people with possibly something that you're trying to create. 
or something that you're passionate about. For some of you all, you may be finding out that you're having possibly after reunited with a um, child's mother or father, you may move forward with your family and then find out as soon as he get there or she get there, boom, we're going to have another baby real soon going into the month of December. Take that leap of faith. Jump off the cliff, bro. Jump off the cliff, sis. It's okay to be this fool. You've learned the lessons and you've learned to trust yourself and trust what it is that you feel and honor those feelings. And you have a counterpart, both the mother and the father of one. You could be dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. You could be an Aries, Leo, Sag. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But you're definitely ending cycles. You could also be a Taurus or a Leo. You're definitely ending cycles. You're moving possibly from someone who you was once passionate about. There was a lot of passion in this relationship, but what was missing was the love. And maybe this person is coming forward to express to you, hey, I was probably shitty in the past, but it's because I love you and I really didn't know how to embrace that in the past. But now I've walked through that dark period of my life to understand that I wanted to end those cycles. And I've opened my heart chakra and, you know, both of us are abundant during this time. Why don't we move forward together? And you got to trust the process in this because, to be honest, it's really, really, really beautiful. And it's funny because I was almost literally finna say Aries about deck six. So I could definitely be, definitely be involved in Aries. Mm-hmm. Leo, Sag. Strong emphasis on Aries and Leo. Pisces. Strong emphasis on Pisces. Be a scancer. Could be a scancer. A cancer or a Scorpio as well. But I feel like spirit is raining in noon this next six, and it's up to you to receive it because it's a time of abundance. All that, all that crazy shit is done for, done with, boo. Move on from it and receive it and accept it. You got this. So I pray that you guys enjoyed your November generals um, as far as them coming in the form of a pick a card reading. Um. I pretty, 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 please beg somebody to timestamp, please, 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 timestamp for me. We are a family. We help each other. We are a family. We, hey, don't give me, you don't give me to put on a damn concert up in here because I do my thing, do my thesis line, and I'm goofy as hell, and it comes at the snap of a dime. I don't know what is going on spiritually with me, but I'm in this great grounded place. If you wanted to know what that, Mocha, what deck you pick? I pick deck six. <laughs> And that's definitely my story, y'all. Um, the journey, the journey. But hopefully this resonated with whom it was supposed to resonate with. Y'all, please share. Let me know what decks you pick. Let me know how it resonated. Um, let me know if you'd like to see more of this. And for those of you who timestamp uh, the decks, thank you so very much, family. I appreciate it. I don't have time to go back in and be timestamping stuff all the time. But I do like to go to it because y'all be, be looking out looking out but the only thing to fear is fear itself don't be afraid to step into the darkness for a little bit especially for observation purposes because you can't fix the problem if you don't know what you're looking for in order to acknowledge it or if you're not trying to acknowledge it and if you're dealing with people who are not trying to acknowledge it there's this sense of free will and willingness you can't make nobody do shit, but you can definitely change the way that you react to their shit or respond to their shit with your own actions by putting your fears aside and just knowing that God got you, babe. Trust the process, family. Until I actually get, um, till this week, I'm going to start trying to get the November generals up. So until I see you guys again, much love, much light, many, many blessings, much peace, much healing. Do this retrograde in Scorpio because shit's real. Okay? <laughs> Namaste, family. Y'all get in on your reading specials. Love y'all.
Bye.